Meanwhile, Ben Roethlisberger left Sunday's game with a sprained MCL and a bone bruise, not a tear of his ACL. That part's good news, which will likely sideline him four to six weeks. Now, the Steelers, without Roethlisberger, will try and catch the Bengals, who improved to 3-0 and after rallying to beat the winless Ravens. The Browns fell to 1-2 and after losing to the Raiders on Sunday. We asked you guys earlier in the show, can the Steelers reach the playoffs without Big Ben for a long stretch? And here are the results. 61% say yes. A lot of optimism. How much of an impact will this injury have on the whole AFC North? Oh, it's going to be big, of course. Big Ben is the guy who, uh, for most parts, fuels that engine that is the offense of the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have outstanding personnel. A.B., Antonio Brown is amazing. Bell is amazing. They'll get their uh, second receiver back in a couple weeks. So, again, without Big Ben, this conference is totally different. Again, I think the Cincinnati Bengals uh, have a great opportunity to be the champs, but the Steelers still have an opportunity to reach the playoffs as a wild card. You know, if... Michael Vick is able, and that's the one big thing, is the turnovers. He can't have turnovers, and in his history, he's had tremendous turnovers. He hasn't been able to stay healthy in about six weeks. Run, the 50-50 balls have to go his way. And again, he's not going to be able to do, do the same things that Big Ben does. They're going to have to limit what he sees, maybe a top read, maybe two reads at a time, and then be able to take off. But the most important thing for Michael Vick in this offense is to protect the football and lean on the running game and the defense to win football games for him. I'm wondering why are we still asking questions about Michael Vick as if we don't know. Don't we know that his durability is a huge question mark? Yeah. Don't we know that his ability to run with the football supersedes his ability to throw the football? Yeah. Meaning accurately. Don't we know that if it were not for Mike Tomlin, practically no one would have picked him up in the entire <laughs> NFL? So if we know that, why do we believe that the Steelers still have a chance? I think we gotta we gotta come to that. We gotta at least ask ourselves that question. They're running game yep. because your receivers don't mean anything if you don't have somebody mm -hmm. to throw you the football. So their running game and their defense is what we're gonna have to rely on. Now I'm all yep. for relying on Le'Veon Bell and D'Angelo. You have to. I'm all for relying on Antonio Brown and special teams. I'm all for relying on the occasional deep throw because Michael Vick can't fling that football and Antonio Brown can catch it and once Martavis Bryant comes back to join Marcus Wheaton and he comes back to join Marcus Wheaton and those boys I definitely think that they could potentially be lethal at least with their running game and it being used as a decoy to, to facilitate some semblance of a passing game but the combination of Vick's durability and his accuracy as a thrower combined with the Steelers secondary has me concerned not concerned enough to surmise that they'll miss the playoffs, but it does have me concerned about their ability to win the AFC North, particularly with Cincinnati yeah. showing up in a regular season the way that it does. I don't expect Cincinnati to get anywhere. Right, I right, mean, right. Them, yes. getting, them, getting, them doing anything in the playoffs would be a bigger shock to me than the Cowboys making a Super Bowl, okay? <laughs> so let's be clear about that. And that's but, my point also. But I think Cincinnati will win. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers with the heavy running game and those receivers and those 50-50 balls are going to be important. You have guys who are 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 on the outside. If Antonio Brown is double covered, you have to win those 50-50 balls. And I think Mike can do that if he's under 20 balls a game. Okay. Now, help me out. I don't remember that you had an issue when Mike Tomlin signed Mike. I Vick, don't. Okay? I, did, I did not. But, I did but not. now you're having real trepidation about whether it's the right fit. Because or... of how many games Roethlisberger is going to be out. I have no problem with Vic being a backup. I think <laughs> that they got some huge question marks about him, but I, th I still think that he's a playmaker. What I'm saying is it's an entirely different ball game when you have to come into a game because your quarterback gets hurt and when you have to stay in for several weeks at a time because he's out. Because now they get to plan for you okay. as opposed to having to deal with you because modifications must take place because in the throws of a game you know uh, you know Vic had to come in like yesterday him coming in against St. Louis as tough as St. Louis defense can be I have no problem with that because that's ideal but if St. Louis got to plan a week in advance for Michael Vick I would have been considerably more worried yeah but what if the Steelers had gotten to plan plays for Michael Vick to run because he tried to go in and basically run what the game plan was which wasn't fair to Michael Vick because he's not been well I'm just I'm not, I'm not denying that but I'm, I'm going by the Michael Vick okay. that I saw on the Could ladder you make a case right here right now York. okay 
Could you make a case they would have been better off for a four to six game stretch with Landry Jones as their backup I can't, quarterback? I can't because I haven't okay. seen Landry Jones since okay. college. Okay. Well, I saw him a lot in college, and I told you I didn't love him in college. Right. And he played in a whole lot of big football games in college. Yep. And if memory serves, he was their second round pick because he right. was a poor man's Roethlisberger. Right. He's about six five. I don't know what he is. Two thirty five or forty. Right, right, He's right. right out of the same mold, except he ain't that guy. Not, He's not right. that other guy. Yeah. Okay. Right. So to me. This, this remind, let me just say this before I go on. I wanted to say it early in the show. I, th it kills me that we're having this conversation right now because I hate it when great quarterbacks yeah. go down. It is terrible for this, this league. Yeah. It's terrible that Tony Romo is not playing right now. You can kid me. I can kid you. No, about I agree with you. Order, but I it's agree just with terrible. You. Yeah. I agree with it's you. It's no fun. Mm -hmm. it, it hurts the show. It hurts this yeah. network. Hey, listen, listen. It hurts. I'm the guy that was on the record, Skip, I even don't... with the whole deflate gate scandal. I didn't want Tom Brady mm -hmm. to be suspended. I said, I who know, wants to see football without you yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay, and do I think he was a cheap shot on Barron's part? It wasn't a cheap shot. He's no. crawling after Ben, and right. Ben's trying to go forward. He's yeah. trying to run right. with the football, and it's just freakish. And yes. I don't even know how you 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 can't you you can't you know. It's football. It's, it's, it's right. just football. football. Yeah. You can't legislate it out of football. Right. That was just football. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So so now, the, this division is reminding me a whole lot of the NFC East because there was one really good quarterback. There was one really good quarterback here. And he's gone, and, and obviously Eli's still a very good quarterback, so maybe that doesn't apply, but, but I still don't trust the Giants maybe even as much. I don't know if you trust them yet. I don't. I don't completely. I'm not going to buy completely into the Giants. So my point is, I'm looking at these schedules, and I'm not as sold on Cincinnati as you seem to be, mm. even though, you know, they just keep proving us wrong so far. Three straight weeks. I didn't have them in the playoffs. I'll be the first to tell you. So, you don't? I don't, I don't have any playoffs before the year started because I had Baltimore and in, in mm. Pittsburgh. But I had Baltimore okay. and had a huge injury. Yeah. Both of us did. Yeah. Both okay. of us did. Well, Regular season with the right. Bengals. That's right. Yeah. Because they're going to get to the Dalton. playoffs. Okay. Well, I get yes. it. I, because I get of Dalton. It. Yes. Yeah, okay. And because it, you've been hard on Marvin Lewis, because you should have been hard on Marvin Lewis, and th this was like a make or break kind of year. And it just seems like they might run out of psychological gas here. They finally say, we keep getting there, we keep getting there, now we got to get. And finally, at some point, you just don't even get there. Mm -hmm. and, and it all gets blown up and you start He's absolutely over, okay? right, Eric. That's exactly yeah. how I felt about yeah. Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So yesterday, Andy Dalton went into Baltimore and, and pretty dramatically outplayed Joe Flacco. Yes, yes he did. I'll just go on QBR, 89 to 42. That's mm -hmm. pretty dramatic. Yeah. Yep. So I give it up to Andy Dalton. That was almost like a playoff game, except it wasn't a playoff game. <laughs> but boy, you, you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys as beat up as they are, and they don't have a Suggs, and they can't run the football, and they have really only one real threat at receiver, really only one real threat at receiver. And yet, I look down the schedule for the Baltimore Ravens, just check it out. Again, I don't want to do every game, but but after they go to Pittsburgh on Thursday night, they yeah. get the Browns, at home. and then week. they go to San Francisco, and they go to they have San Diego at home, and then they have Jacksonville, St. Louis, at Cleveland, at Miami. You don't think they could get on some kind of a roll just because of the Baltimore Ravens? They well, could. I yeah, do. I, yeah, I think they could, but it's going to be difficult walking into a stadium with one receiver who's 37 and a running game that's so-so and without that leader on defense and sucks. And the secondary is not playing very hey, well right now. You know now. how many people pick them uh, I know a lot of people who picked them to be in the Super Bowl, to get to the Super Bowl this year. The Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. Are they suddenly, without Suggs, that much worse than they were in the preseason? Well, you're talking to a guy who didn't pick one receiver uh, to really be explosive enough when you start. To, we talk about game planning. And I'm just going to try and figure out a way to take Steve Smith out of the game plan, yep. make you beaten with someone else, and then attack your secondary. Those are not good combinations to have if you're a team that is trying to get out of an 0-3 hole. Okay, so back to the Bengals. So you're telling me they got upcoming Kansas City and Seattle at home, then they go to Buffalo and buy and go to Pittsburgh. Are you sure? Are you That's sure? That's tough. I know. It's That's tough. tough but they, they could lose two of those games, maybe three of those games. They could. Yeah, they could. And then they still have their 3-0 and at this point. You have the uh, 
Ben is hurt. We're not sure what's going to happen. He's probably going to be off about six weeks. What so if he's not? They're gonna what they're if gonna it's four have, weeks? Well, again, they're going to have some leeway there, I believe, and what they've given themselves in a 3-0 and start already. So, again, you're talking about a football team that has run, done some good things in the regular season, and we're not talking playoffs. I'm not going to start the, the whole banter, wait until January, wait until December. I think that's unfair. This is a football team. 2015 Cincinnati Bengals are different from the last couple football teams. I think they have enough in the cupboard to be able to win this division. Okay. Did you have them before the year went in the division? No, at the okay. Steelers. Okay, got it. All right. Mm -hmm. This division certainly up for grabs, and so is the next one we're going to discuss. I'm just not sold on it. He brought up Marvin Lewis. Hey, 12 hey. years, not single playoff victory. It's tough. It's, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's hard for me to look at Cincinnati. With the regular season, yeah, though. I'm not sure who to, who to blame with yeah. that. The East, Philly gets win number one after beating the Jets yesterday. So will the Eagles soar to the top of the division? Find out that when we come back.